worked my way up into production control. Meet Richard Elkus. He may not be as well known as Bill Gates or Steve Jobs, but it's a sure bet you know about his technology. He was part of a groundbreaking team in the 1950s at what was then a small company called Ampex. A little company with a magnificent technology uh, that was trying to figure out how to produce this stuff and make a, a dollar at it. Alcus joined a team of high-tech pioneers that included an audio sound engineer with a familiar sounding name, Ray Dolby. Ray Dolby told me once the first prototype video recorder made um, that demonstrated clearly and concisely the, 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 not only the concept but the viability of a video recorder for broadcast purposes cost $15,000 from start to finish. The Ampex team built a new product called InstaVision. The concept was simple. Come up with a machine that could record video on the same tape that Ampex designed for audio. The result? The world's first VCR in 1956. I think they figured that if they sold 50 units, that would pretty well saturate the market. When you look at the millions and millions of video recorders in various forms that are sold today every year, um, it was an astounding accomplishment that nobody really anticipated or understood. The first InstaVision sold for $50,000. It wasn't until the Japanese rolled out their own VCRs in the early 1970s that the industry really took off. But as Elkis recalls, Ampex had a front row seat to history when, in 1958, then Vice President Richard Nixon took a trip to a trade show in Russia. Nixon and, and Khrushchev had met earlier um, at, at Khrushchev's offices and they got into an argument about which system, Russia versus the United States, was the better system. And it was a knockdown, drag out argument. It just so happened that there was an Ampex video recorder sitting in the corner of the room. There was an Ampex engineer that was on the camera. Phil Gundy, who was head of Ampex International, walked over, picked this reel of tape off the machine, and as one person told me, at potentially great peril to himself, stuck it in his briefcase, left the convention, the exposition, got on an airplane and flew back to the United States, went over to one of the networks and dropped the tape on uh, the, the, uh, the head guy's uh, desk and said, take a look at this. These days, we record video on everything from cell phones to desktops. It's easy to take the technology for granted. So it's a refreshing change to hear from somebody who was there when it all began. It was a remarkable experience for, for Nixon and Khrushchev. It was a remarkable experience for the industry, video recording. And literally from that point on, people understood that videotape was going to be something that changed the world.